teddy bears. Oh, why did I, do I don't know why I did that. Oh, he's weakened. Did I get him? I just phased right to the bottom of the signal tower. Guys, what? Paled. This is it. This is my vision. This is where he was locked up in the signal tower. All along I was trying to get to him, lure him out, and kill him. Hold on a minute. There's other doors. Oh, well, obviously there's other doors, but if this is my door, what do all these other doors mean? I'm guessing it, I'll go up and go through that one. Oh? Huh? Am I allowed? So some of them have eyes on them. Is it a puzzle? Okay. Dude, guys, man. This is why I love this game so much. Like, what other game gives you this? This experience? This is a puzzle. Alright, that's an eye looking down. More eyes. I like how I'm fading. I'm like... Uh... Do I want to just be go between existences? Oh! I've got to go through them in a certain order. I've got to go through the doors where I can hear the music. So this... Right, don't hear it anymore in that door. I hear it in this one. Here in this one. And then back through this one. I'm assuming that's the, yeah, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think that was the game loading, like you did it. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm, so I've got to listen up for the music. So not there. She's playing her music box. Yep, this is it. Nope, not that one. It's like purgatory, in a way. Right, it's not through that door. Wait, did that? Did that just? Oh god, it's one of these again. Oh, it is this one. This one you can push, I think. Okay. Oh, can I push it or can I just? Oh, it's the other door there. They're linked. Right, so I gotta push this one then to get through that door. I gotta push this door open. Right? There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. And then I gotta get through it before it closes, if it, if it does close. There we go. Okay. 
Is it this one? It's gonna be this one. Yep, this one. <laughs> Just getting higher and higher into the signal tower. So this is what lies inside the signal tower. But I, I don't understand what it means though. Maybe I'm not supposed to. Okay, I got through here. Okay. Whoa, what is that? It's like a... It's like organs or fat or something, but made with cement. Oh. Okay. Do I... Do I take a running jump? Like, how do I get over? Okay, I think I gotta go back. I gotta find a way. Definitely is that one. I gotta push this, I think. I gotta push this over. Yeah, I thought so. Gotta push this over. Because I need to get back over here because the singing door is on the other side. I like this, though. This is intense. There it is. Okay. I assume it's gonna be over here. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Take a wild guess. And there we go. How many floors left we got? Ooh. No more floors higher. Just a floating bit of concrete. It's a bit like it with the floating children. Something's here. Teddy bears. Oh! Six, what have they done to you? They've turned you into a monster. Is this where the monsters are made? In their own little nightmare. What's her little nightmare? To grow up? Her suitcase is behind her. Did you see that? That's a suitcase that she, uh... She ends up in. But that's the toy, I think, at the start of the game with Little Nightmares. So we're gonna end up putting her into the suitcase, I think. It's okay. Yeah, I think that's a suitcase. I need, do I need to break it? Hey. This, that is a suitcase and it's the two pictures. That's... What am I doing? I assume I'm gonna break the box. She's mad. Oh god. Six, I'm so sorry! Six! I didn't mean it! Why did I do I don't know why I did that. I really don't know why I did that. Oh my god. We were friends! You and I, we were- Oh god! <laughs> That's the problem with having like, um... Uh, not an analog stick. Is it an analog stick? Not left and right completely. It's, you know, no. The modern control stick. <laughs> I was a little bit too much to the left and I missed the door. <laughs> I missed the clean up. Oh god. Oops. Yep. Hi, bad. I meant to go through the door. Oh yeah, teleport. Otherwise she would have got me there. So I had to use the door. There we go. Oh god. Oh god. Gotta hide. Gotta hide. So is the shadow six? Oh god. Open the door. I, I went through the door, yes. I'm gonna go.
go. I'm gonna go, guys. Okay, I can see an axe. Okay, should we... Ooh. So she went through that. So I'm gonna have to grab the axe, smash down the door, and then get through. Okay, gotcha. And she's gonna hear me when I start doing this, and then she's gonna come through. Unless she actually... Oh! She found her music box again. Does she calm down? Do I just run? I think I just run. Um, or do I? Oh god! Okay! Alright! You really like the music box. I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, I see what I gotta do. I see what I gotta do. Okay. I feel like I've gotta destroy that music box. And I don't know why. There we go. Oh god. Uh, this is... Weird. Oh, I think I've gotta open the doors that are behind. I think I've gotta open up these. No, I don't. Okay, I don't. Oh god! Oh, you better do it! Over here! Oh no, no, she saw me! Oh! Oh! Oh god, there we go, there we go. Oh, there it is! There it is! There it is! There it is! We did it again. Why are we destroying this music box, though? She's attached to it. We're here again. In nowhere. Hello? This is freaky, though. Oh. Here we go again. Here we go again. Um. Oh, God. Oh, God. Go, go, go. Can I go? Th okay, I can hold the axe while calling. Gotcha. I just gotta find out which door goes where. Okay, uh. Oh! No! Oh, damn it! <laughs> oh, this is so stressful, man! I feel like I gotta get. Okay. Oh! Hey, oh. There we go, there we go, there we go! Whoa! What's inside the music box? A nightmare? Oh! We're so close to like, understanding something with the Little Nightmares universe! It's so tantalizing and close yet... I... I need time to think! <laughs> it's weird because when you're watching this, it's completely different to playing it. Because when I was watching, like, when I was editing it, I was, like, coming up with ideas and uh, thoughts that, obviously, you know, when you're playing, it's like, oh, run! <laughs> oh, we're back again. Hey, yeah. Oh, do I not have my axe this time? Oh, it, it's there. Okay. Oh, God, that was just going to Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> Die with the axe. I feel like we're doing this for our own good, though. Go, 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 go! Oh, so close! Oh, I should have went the other way. Should have went the other way? Oh god, I called that before I was even alive! <laughs> I can't get this to me. <laughs> Okay. 
Oh god. Oh, that seems to be it. That seems to be the one. That seems to be the one that she she lasts ages at. There we go. There we go. Okay. There it is. No, oh, come on. Yes. Yes. Oh, what? Like, how many times do we need to do this? Here we are. The final hit. What is inside the box? No! It's like... You know, you had the lady and her reflection. This is Six's nightmare. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorted like a fly. <laughs> okay, maybe we don't approach with the axe. Oh, okay. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Right, go. Pick it! Yes, go on. Come on! Oh, Alright then. <laughs> this drops. Okay, so I need to do that and I need to whack it. Okay, let's go. Oh, she's, she's returning, I think. she encaged in it? And the monster was like trapping her in there? I think so. Did I are you okay? Okay, we need we need to get going. We need to get going, come on. Wait, why are we going that way? Oh no! Oh god! Yeah, I'm definitely gonna die. Why the heck did he pick Oh there's the eye! There it is again! The monster that makes the monsters. <laughs> oh. oh god! Get going! I don't know how I'm alive! I feel like I had a terrible start. Oh god! This being, this creature that makes the monsters. Okay, okay, okay. I can almost I can glitch. That's fine. <laughs> it's like off the edge. Go on six! All the doors! So, have we destroyed the monster's, like, lair? The nightmare's lair, almost? Six? Six? Am I gonna make it? This is it, the final jump. Is she gonna save me? <gasps> Come on. Come on. That... Is that it? So what happens now that I'm just trapped in here? In the bubbling mass of... So was Six never... I killed the monster version of Six. But was she still a monster? Hi. Like, evil? I had a feeling that was gonna happen, guys. I had a feeling she was gonna let go. I had a feeling. Wow. 
Is this just me now? Is this, is this the rest of the game? Like, do the credits play, like, as I walk around in the goop? <laughs> Look, this is... Hi. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Ugh. Oh. No, don't look at me. What? What is that? Oh, why you got so many eyes? Is that a gravestone? Oh, it's a chair. I'm not the hanging man, am I? I sit on a throne. No, this is gonna- now I'm turning into the monster. I'm the monster- I'm the one sat in the chair. Just like the thin man. The thin man was sat on the chair. Trapped. I was locked in now. As time goes by, I get long and thin. So does it always does there always have to be a monster? Where did the clothes come from, though? <gasps> Locked in the room. But I couldn't... Are you saying that it just repeats itself? Except for this time the door's open. No, it's not. So what, the cycle repeats itself, and I'm try like the reason why he goes after Six is because of what Six did to him. Is, is mono, and then, oh man. But why would we have like a continuous cycle of Thin Men? Unless that's just how it ends. And like a good thin man is left at the end to take the spot. Like is that what it needed? This, this place needed a monster. Oh man. Oh. I'm so confused. Oh. So, right, right off the bat, game is phenomenal. Art style, direction, uh, cinematography, the scenes, everything's being crafted and it's just, it's what you want. It's, it's, it's like a, it's a, it's a movie experience that you play. And that's why it works so well. Because when movies get, you know, get adapted into games, it doesn't work. It's not the same, but this, you can easily see this being a movie. Or, or, a, or a TV show or whatever. Whether or not that Netflix thing's ever gonna come out, I don't know. Because um, they were supposed to be making a little Nightmares Netflix show, which would be freaking amazing if they did. 
if they do pull it off. I don't know, I feel like that ending's not satisfying though. What, that he just takes the place of the, the thin man? At the start, Mono just appears in, in the wilderness by himself, as if he came from a TV. I feel like this is a prequel. I feel like we, we see the origins of Six. At the start, when we first see Six, she's alone. All she has is that toy. And that's when she becomes a monster and she gives in to, like, her, her own ability. Oh. She gives in to her monster and that's where she is, is inside this. I don't know whether when she gets grabbed that's and she gets turned into the monster, that's why she lets him go. Because she's still a monster, although she doesn't look like it anymore. Or whether or not this place just needed something. Or whether she, she had some hostility towards him for destroying her toy still. Because she's very childish. Like when she burns the, uh, the, the doctor, she's, you know, she's just warming her hands up. And so it wouldn't be far-fetched to say that she holds a grudge against him for destroying her toy. And when we first played Little Nightmares, uh, you see when she's in a suitcase, that's where she is. Her suitcase is in that monster room with the same two pictures in the back of it. And the toy is also there. I vividly remember just like picking up that toy and throwing it. So now I'm wondering whether or not there's a TV above six. I feel like there is. In that lone place where you start, with six in the suitcase, where she wakes up, if there's a TV above. I feel like there might be. And so this is a prequel, if that is the case. But it just explains it. It explains where the suitcase came from, um, unless it is a sequel, and the toy and the suitcase are there because that's where she felt safe. And she was in the suitcase playing the toy or whatever. And that was her home. Because when we first see her, she's there. But we we needed to release her. We wanted to save her. Because she, we could have just left her there, right? I'm so confused. Because at one point we almost saved her from the TV before the thin man came out and chased us. And she was normal there. So, once we killed the Thin Man, she took the place of the monster inside the tower. And then when we killed the monster, she then, the tower still required a heart, like the Moor with the Lady. These places need a heart. So Mono becomes the heart. Because Six knows that he can't escape, or if he does, then she'll just be back there. These are just theories off the top of my head. So there's no real thought that's went into them. But if I was to hazard a guess, it's just like from a gameplay perspective and, a, and, a, and like a single game, because this, this has got nine out of 10s, 10 out of 10s, and it truly is a masterpiece of cinematic proportion. Um, from every character design, uh, you know, set design, everything sound design it's it's all there but i feel like that ending is like oh he's the hanging man oh okay it's like now what like oh oh I, I, but why why does he become the hanging man why what is his fear what is his nightmare to be alone to grow old and alone. Now we could look at the man who hung himself, the hanging man, in Little Nightmares as him. Because I feel like there's got to be a TV nearby. Maybe he got out somehow and just ended it. 
So the original Hanger Man might not be him. It might just be another child that had the powers. But if that's the case, are we talking about like a, a cyclical, like a cycle? It's definitely not straightforward, this plot. It really isn't. I, I kind of just want to hold, like, I want to wait until the end to see if there, there is anything. But really, the question is, where did he get his clothes from? And where did the hat come from? <laughs> They're the real questions we're asking here. Oh. <laughs> After all that. Here we go. Oh, that's a nice touch. Chapter select. So hats collected. Glitching remains discovered. Oh, so these are the kids. I'm, I'm assuming. So we've got the huntsman. We've got the school. We've got the doctor. And then signal tower, which is just the city, I guess. And then the signal tower. Which there is nothing to collect or anything. I, I was thinking that maybe the, the glitch remains of the children were previous Thin Men. Um, and I guess it would make sense why the Thin Man was after Mono and Six. Six to get revenge if this is a cyclical thing. Uh, which would be really weird. Um, because then it means that Six just repeats over and over again as well. Um, but why the Thin Man's after Mono is to stop the cycle. Like, he gets out and he knows that Mono is just gonna kill him and replace him. Uh, and, you know, and saving himself in a way. But he can't. He can't do it. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, man. It shed more light on the universe as well, or this city, or the outside world of the moor, with the teacher, the doctor. Like, and it kind of ties into little, like the original little nightmares a little bit more. But I think if we're if we're asking for a coherent story, I don't think we're going to get one. I don't think we're going to have, oh, this is ABC. I think this is a world that works in a very strange way. Um, things don't make sense. It's a world of nightmares. Um, can you, like, for instance, can you imagine the, the doctor having a conversation with the lady? You know what I mean? Like, these these, these creatures or characters don't seem like there's thought there. The only thing I can think of is the one thing in control, the one thing that could possibly tie all of this together is the eyes. The seeing, being, creature, manifestation of something controls everything. It sees the whole world. Um, and just like when the more, what was it? Um, there was something in the website that the more, and on Bandai or Little Nightmares, the more needs a heart. And Six, when she killed the lady, it can be argued she became the next lady. Just like Mono became the next Hanging Man. Um, and they're doomed to repeat over and over and over. So, you know, Mono goes on, becomes the Hanging Man. Six goes on, becomes the lady, until another Mono and another Six come along. And the, pro the process repeats over and over. It's possible. Something like that could very well happen. It's not really that satisfying, <laughs> if that is the conclusion. Um, but it's kind of interesting. It felt like when Little Nightmares, the game came out, it had an ending. It had a, you know, that was it. The lady is defeated. And does she get off the moor? We don't know. But when it came to, like, the DLCs, like the, the Runaway Kid, um, it... It just sort of, it fed into Little Nightmares, but it wasn't too satisfying. It was like, oh, okay, so he dies. All that for nothing, <laughs> in a way. Um, and this one as well feels like we, we did so much and we've experienced so much. And in the end, it didn't matter. Um, and I don't know whether that's something, I'm missing something. Like maybe it's possible that this, ha this thin man is a good one and he just stays there, that's it. Like the, the signal stops and he just stays there forever. And that's one monster killed. And Six takes out the lady and maybe goes off and does something else. And that's another monster killed. I'm really not too sure. <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot to think about and unpack. And definitely plenty for theorists out there to go over. I think it might take a while before I come up with a theory. I like to let things settle. Um, and 
A theory videos take a while to make, and I lost all the footage from my original Little Nightmares playthrough, so if I need to use any of that, I'm gonna have to go and play that again. But, they're my thoughts. Tell me in the comments what you guys think. I think it, it's a wonderful game. I just think the ending's a little bit hollow. I think uh, it's a little bit mono. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, it's hard to think like, how can an ending to something like this be satisfying? And I don't think we've really ever had a satisfying ending. It's more like it just leaves you like, wow, that's what happened. And maybe that's what they're trying to go. I hope they don't go like a black mirror route and just try and top or, you know, get the same sort of feeling as, as others. Um, but they did an amazing job. The team who worked on it, you guys, who or maybe any of you are watching, you did an amazing job on it. I'm, I'm glad that we waited and we had to wait this long for a sequel uh, and it wasn't rushed, I hope. Um, it was perfect. It even gives you that hollow feeling at the end of, uh, of it, which is what I think now I come to expect from Little Nightmares. But anyway, guys, I've been talking for far too long. It's probably been 10 minutes of me talking. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye. Sweet dreams.